record-setting crowd. A brand of football being played throughout the masses. This is what it's all about. This is culture. This is excellence. This is black excellence for our people. This is truly amazing. And it's happening at Jackson State. This is DJ's Raw and Cut Truth, giving you the raw content that you deservedly need. Make sure you hit the like button, share the video. Peace and blessings to everyone. Man, Jackson State. You had 200 recruits this weekend watching your brand of football, your team, the camaraderie, how the players are always together hanging out, it seems. They saw that. And they saw a team that's resilient throughout a bad first half. In the second half, I didn't, I don't know what Coach Prime did. He probably yelled at them. <laughs> he probably gave them a speech that motivated them to really turn it up in the second half, and it worked. These recruits saw all of this. The fans saw it. They saw the people come as one. This is what happens when we work together, we spin within ourselves, within our own, and that's greatness. That's a small but a big step to something good happening. Matter of fact, something great happening. Or should I say the first step? It's the first step of greatness. 53,000 plus people at the vet. That's a record. Did you know that the Alabama versus Mississippi State game was around the same numbers? Shout out to Lighthouse Sports and subscribe to his channel. Follow him on Instagram and Twitter good brother and thank you for providing the stats so a slack matchup between Alabama State versus Jackson State had almost the same amount of fans as Alabama at Mississippi State that's greatness right there that's belief right there so what's going to happen is if you keep doing that, Jackson State, and I want y'all to listen to this, got to find a way to somehow replicate that. It may not be 53 all the time, but I got a new rule. It's called the 40 and up rule. How about throughout the season? There should be at least 40,000 or more plus people in those stands. If it was my way, if it was <laughs> the way I would want it to be, man, it'd be 60,000 in them stands every single game. But I'm trying to be realistic. But 40,000 and up, it could happen. Shoot, 50,000 a game can happen. But JSU, you have something special. This is why a lot of brothers and sisters are paying attention to this. Because we have not seen it, especially in the SWAC or HBCUs. There was a time when the HBCUs was the hub of talent. 60s, 70s, 
if you were a great player, you would go to the SWAC, the MEAC, uh, independent HBCU team. That's what used to happen. Now, Alabama, Ohio State, and many others get a hold of that talent. If you go on social media and you type Jackson State football, you'll see a ton of recruits thanking the coaches, thanking the recruiting staff, thanking Coach O, the recruiting director, for giving them the time of their lives. I bet you they had more fun at the homecoming at Jackson State than most Power 5 visits. Now, the Power 5 teams, FBS teams, they do have the advantage of facilities. But if you look at the photos that they've taken at this recruiting trip and the love they, they were shown by the fans, they felt right at home. And you could only get that at an at HBCU. There's nothing like that home cooking. That home cooking, it, it fills a void in your soul that we all yearn. There's so many stories of recruits, prospects, they commit to these big universities and then they get homesick or they're not playing enough. And then eventually they go into the transfer portal to go to another team. And I know I shouted out FAMU in the last video, but I'm gonna do it again. Shout out to FAMU. Because instead of them being player haters and hating on Jackson State, what do they do? They're taking advantage of a good thing, which they're supposed to. They got a documentary out right now. Why not? Check it out. It's on ESPN Plus. It's only $6.99. I know we got enough to <laughs> $6.99 for a documentary. So get the uh, ESPN Plus. Support them brothers at uh, FAMU. I love their team. I love how resilient they are. Shout out to Coach Willie Simmons. Got a win. They were down 28 to 10. And it was a weird game because they, besides the bonehead mistakes, FAMU was out playing Alabama a and They were the better team. They were just losing. So they won that game, came back from 28 to 10. And that's mental toughness right there. The social media team at FAMU is doing a good job. Shout out to PV. PV has the facilities. Most say the best facilities in HBCUs. I, I agree. The stadium is top notch. Their athletic training uh, room is really good. North Carolina A&T. They doing their thing. They're on a win streak. They've been winning so many celebration bowls you can't even count. So look at all these HBCUs. The renaissance of leveling the playing field, exceeding the playing field. This is what we all should want. And I'm so happy right now. That you can't believe it. I'm so happy what I'm seeing. I don't care about any shines saying negative things about each team. I, I don't really care. Because when our people do does something great, it should be taken notice. Shout out to all the content creators on YouTube, keeping it real. Not trying to be a puppet of old media. Shout out to the homie Swap Buzz. He's from Jackson State. He knows the area better than anybody. He went to Jackson State good brother he's all about community he's all about uh, our people 
CFL podcast. Very objective. Uh, I tell many of my friends, hey, if you want an objective point of view, you go to the CFL podcast. Because even though he roots for Jackson State, if he sees something wrong, he'll say it. He's not going to sugarcoat anything. Also, if you want the wisdom of an OG, Tomorrow Leader Sports Network, he breaks the game down to a T. And when he made a prediction, not a prediction, but an analysis of Alabama State versus Jackson State, he talked about Alabama State's D lineman with Gaddy. They got another guy named Gaddy at Alabama State, and he's good. Number 99 for Alabama State. Talked about the fast linebackers. And Coach was on top of everything. He said the first half would, would be close, and it was. He was right on the money. Ultimately, Jackson State won that game 28-7. Cut Day Sports. I've always said Cut Day is one of the brothers who made the swag cool. Like he was doing this even before Coach Prime was in the spotlight. His editing skills, the way he mixes up, he, the way he showcases the talent through highlights. Between the Gang Sports, a good brother does live streams uh, it's all about his people as well so these YouTubers man subscribe to them because they're really putting out great content giving out great information so subscribe to them brothers um, this is just amazing man Jackson State fans, man, never let anybody take your joy. Because when you were losing, when people were hating on your team, not even hating, they were making fun of Jackson State. I remember when uh, there, there was one season they went, what, they only won three games? And they would say Jackson State would never win anything meaningful. Remember those days? All of a sudden, you have a great team with great coaches, great players, and they don't even want you to enjoy it. It's not even envy, it's jealousy. Because if it was another SWAC team that's well likable, oh yeah, they'll, they'll cheer for that team like 90 going north. They'll say, oh yeah, we love what they're doing. But Jackson State of all teams was the one. And now they don't want to give them their props or their respect. And they got to realize it's bigger than you. I'm down with teams. Hey, you root for your school. Your school's a rival to Jackson State. You should want your favorite school to beat Jackson State since that's your school. We all get that. But I'm talking about those who like to discredit the players, the team, the um, Shadir Sanders so far has only thrown one pick. He doesn't have the best offensive line. And he still manages to be efficient. Has an amazing arm. And that throw he did to Corbin when he brought the tackle did a pirouette and somehow fit it between two defenders. And you mean to tell me he doesn't have pro ability? In due time? When his career is done with Jackson State, that's when, when I know you're hating. So, let's not be haters now. And let's continue to appreciate what JSU's doing. Because it's I've never seen it in HBCUs. Like, the way they're doing it, social media presence, Fan engagement, product on the field, fam you, same thing. This is truly amazing. 
This is DJ's Raw and Cut Truth, giving you the raw content that you deservedly need, man. I love this, man. I love this for our people, man. This is a blueprint. This is a bl blueprint. And when those facilities are finished at Jackson State, just look out. Oh, one more thing. I've been hearing a lot of good rumors lately. The recruiting. I got a prediction and some of the prediction, the prediction I'm going to spew out is some little rumors I heard. So here's how the recruiting class might look like. And I may make a, another video about this. There will be more transfers than high school recruits in this class. But the transfers are really going to be good. I'm just saying that right now. The transfers may be better than last year's transfers. The high school players will be good, but it won't be like last season. That's that's my prediction. Uh, just wait and see. You, you guys are really going to like it. And I'm out. <laughs>